a new poll has found that nearly half of all Australians support a ban on Muslim immigration, which is, you know, shocking. But what if we also told you that more than a third of Greens voters support that ban too? Greens, why you be like that? To find out why, I decided to hit the streets of Sydney today to ask the people and also to see if I could find one of these elusive anti-Muslim greenies. Would you support a ban on Muslim immigration to Australia? No. No. Definitely not. <laughs> no. But who are these people and why are they so anti-ban? I voted for the Labour Party. I voted Labour. I voted for the Liberals. I think that this is a big country. There's plenty of room for everybody and we can all live in peace and harmony. And what do you think about uh, Senator Pauline Hanson's role in all of this? <laughs> Sorry, you can only laugh when someone mentions her name. We still hadn't found anyone pro-ban and we were getting a little desperate. Do you have a second to answer questions for SBS? Do you support a ban on Muslim immigration? <laughs> can go to everywhere. I think that's a no. <laughs> okay, I think we're done. And then we found one. Would I support a ban? Yeah. Yes. I probably would, yeah. Why would you? I know, because of all the terrorism and stuff that goes on. Innocent people dying, I suppose. And they shouldn't be dying, you know? Do you know any Muslims yourself? No, not really, no, not many. But where are the elusive pro-ban Greens voters? We decided to have a look in a left-leaning neighbourhood. Would you support a ban on Muslim immigration to Australia? A ban? No. <laughs> I wouldn't. Uh, no. No. Definitely yes, on conditions. But is he green? I didn't vote. I think the last couple of times I've actually just copped the fine. Damn it. No luck. Back to the studio. And our next guest is Mariam Vasade. She's a diversity advocate and recovering lawyer. Welcome, Mariam. Hello. Now, were you shocked that effectively 49% of Australians want to ban you from being able to come to this country? Yeah, maybe it's just my sense of humour that I don't <laughs> like. Um, <laughs> Look, firstly, I do um, question the legitimacy of the poll results, um, given that what I'm hearing is that they were quite limited um, and it was done online. So, But putting that aside, um, having run the Islamophobia Register for the past year and a bit, I have seen a lot of anti-Muslim rhetoric and, uh, um, and I must say that the political climate, I feel, is actually fueling that. And it's no coincidence that it's happened a week after Pauline Hanson's infamous maiden speech. I mean, well, that's an interesting point because I think uh, Tanya Plibersek today uh, said that uh, politicians haven't done enough to foster cohesion. Are politicians who you level this at? Is this the reason why we have this problem right now? I think that uh, definitely they play a role. Um, I would say you can't just, you know, lay the blame there. Um, but yes, if you think, look back in history, you had John Howard's rhetoric and you've had... Uh, Tony Abbott's rhetoric and his long list of things that we won't go through but um, you know and then uh, Malcolm Turnbull has the rhetoric has changed I must say um, but we haven't seen any sort of strong opposition to Pauline Hanson um, so you know they talk about you know the standard you walk past is the standard you accept and plenty of people did come is, out and condemn her when she they, did her they speech did, did, senators walked out but yeah. they did but let's let's focus on the major parties I mean a lot of people did just walk past and accept it and some mm. even gave her a hug saying Mm. High five to her, I'm probably exaggerating now, but you, you get the dream. <laughs> we'll go back and look at Hansard, see if there was a, a high five in there. Speaking of the Greens, uh, it's been of a kind of shock result of the poll is that more than a third of Greens voters actually support the ban and they're usually very pro immigration. Mm. What does that actually say to you? Yeah, look, I'm struggling to understand that. And again, I go back to the legitimacy of the results and whether that, that part is that part they particular did do it twice, is accurate. Though. They did the poll twice, though. Surely yeah. there's got to be some truth to it. Yeah, well, like I said, it goes back to the political climate as well and and the you know what our leadership the, the role that they've played in I suppose fostering an environment where groups like One Nation can actually um, rise in the way that they have. I guess the other interesting thing here is that we've seen this before I mean there's been there was anti uh, Vietnamese uh, immigrants sorry let me start that again I guess the interesting thing about this is we've sort of seen this before in the history of Australia like every major wave of immigration Greeks Italians Vietnamese there was some sort of reaction to it. Is, is it just a thing that will pass in time as it has with those other groups? 
I sure hope so. <laughs> and how long are you holding your breath to... at that moment? Yeah, exactly. Look, th this concept of integration with previous um, minority groups has come up. And the thing is, that every time I hear this thing about, well, integration, you need to integrate better, what do I need to do? I mean, I've contemplated changing my name to Sheila. Yeah, do you do think do that it. would work? I don't know that, if it suits me, though. Can you <laughs> have a Southern Cross tattoo on no? Well, I'll see if we can get a hijab designed. I, I did try the Aussie flag hijab, but, but <laughs> that tends seem to go too well either. Uh, look, the, the, the idea around some of these things that we've been asked to challenge all the time and condemning terrorism, and, and the thing is, we have been for, mm. you know, decades saying the same things. And at some point, I think, Public, the public needs to think about the fact that it, the onus shouldn't be on people like me to constantly say that this isn't us and that, that, that they don't represent us. They should know better. Thank you so much for joining us, Mary. It's a pleasure. Thank you.